What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the new dynamic duos in NBA 2K20, my team. So lads, there are 22 of these duos and I'm gonna be talking about them all. Well, mostly all of them anyway. I'm gonna try buy a couple of the cards. So, um, cards that I don't have for the duos, I don't I think it's just kind of like the moments of the week cards. So I'm gonna go and buy a couple of these. Now, if I miss out on any of them, I am sorry. So Jaron Jackson Jr. He, you cannot buy him. Okay, so he's a duo. I'll kind of explain his duo a little bit later. So, first duo is Bol Bol and Manupo. So, Bol Bol, Manupo, Manupo goes up to a 98. Bol Bol goes up to a, well, he stays at 99, obviously. Stats wise, three ball goes up by, I think it's three. Yeah, it's a plus three and three ball. Driving dunk goes up, rebound goes up, and he gets one Hall of Fame badge extra. Not entirely sure which one it is. Because it doesn't, I don't think there's a, uh, there's no um, way of telling, is there? What do you guess with the dynamic duo? Because I know obviously we can see the dynamic duo. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm going to go through them all. If you guys can see it, then um, obviously you'll be able to see it. But it's just going to go through them all just to show you guys because I am not 100% sure which ones. Manu Bowl also goes up in two Hall of Fame badges. He has 24 before the duo, or 22 before the duo. He's a 24 after the duo. He goes up by plus 10 in three balls. So he goes to a 93 three point shot, which is actually huge. Throw fail goes up five. Interior defense goes up four to 99. Mid range goes up to 94 as well, which is big. And strength goes up five to 85, which is quite big as well. So this is a pretty, a pretty decent duo, not going to lie. Um, I don't think see that many people using them. However, however, this could be a game-changing duo, this one right here. So, you've got Magic Johnson and Kareem. So, arguably the best center in the game. Do I already have Kareem in the squad? Yes, I do. So, arguably the best center in the game, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, with the Magic Johnson 97 overall card. So, Magic Johnson goes up to a Galaxy Opal, and Kareem goes up as well. So, for, um, for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, or sorry, for Magic, he goes up by a little bit in like standing dunk um vertical and defense but let's have a look at the badges he still already has hall of fame quick draw okay nothing of note that he gets hall of fame but does he get gold range he doesn't so yeah he might have gotten a couple of ho upgrades in hall of fame and a few upgrades in stats wise but i'm telling you it's not gonna be a significant upgrade however let's have a look at kareem so kareem before, I'd say before the duo, Magic Johnson has, has 17 Hall of Fames, and he has 23, so we actually get six more Hall of Fames, which is a fairly decent amount for the duo. Kareem, he gets one extra Hall of Fame badge, and with the duo, or let's have a look, is, does he get range? Does he please tell me he gets range? If he doesn't get range, yet, or Hall of Fame quick for step, there's not that much relevance unless he goes to 86 ball handle, which he doesn't. So his three ball goes up six. Um, that's really that's really it, pretty much. So, yeah. Um, Kareem's still Kareem. Magic's still Magic. And if you have both of these, if you have Magic locked in and you want to use them, but I don't think this duo really makes any difference whatsoever. So, all right, duo, definitely, but nothing, nothing spectacular. Okay, so we're gonna try see if we can pick up one of these cards right now. And it's from the Isaiah Thomas set, Kevin McHale. So Kevin McHale at power forward with also Larry Bird at power forward. So Kevin McHale's an Evo card, which is a bit of a weird one. Duos with Evo cards. Did I get badges that they already get Evoed or? I, I don't know. I'm just kind of confused with that one. But Kevin McHale goes to 93. So he probably goes to a pink diamond when he's Evoed. Um, so stats wise, three ball still not great. Block 85, does he get any good badges? So he doesn't get range. So I don't think this is gonna be great. And Magic Johnson doesn't, re gets a little bit faster. I or say not Magic Johnson, Larry Bird gets a little bit faster. I keep mixing up names randomly. I'm just kind of losing, I don't know what it is the last couple of days. I've just been losing a lot of concentration. He goes up in like shot IQ and stuff. Um, He goes to 42 Hall of Fame badges though, instead of 40. So he gets an extra two upgrades from gold to Hall of Fame. Again, I don't know which ones they are, but I guess it's all right. But that there's still no reason. This duo is still not a reason to use this um, Kevin McHale at all. So next one, we have got a duo from 
the New Orleans Pelicans. So Zion Williamson, who I have, and Lonzo Ball. Okay, so Lonzo Ball gets 47 Hall of Fame. So he gets six extra Hall of Fame badges. Okay, that could be nice. And his three ball goes up as well. So he's got Hall of Fame range, Hall of Fame quick draw, Hall of Fame clamps, interceptor, uh, fancy footwork. Again, I don't know which ones he gets upgraded in, but I'm going to go through them all. So if you guys realize that, if you guys can see which ones he gets upgraded in, that's great. Um, Three ball goes up a little bit, ball handle goes up a little bit, and like, he only goes up eight into total attributes and four and shot IQ, which isn't great, but he does get um, an extra six Hall of Fame badges, which definitely, definitely is good. However, I'm not sure if it's quite worth using Zion. So Zion goes up uh, by four Hall of Fame badges. However, neither of them are range or quick draw, which is a little bit annoying, and his dead eye stays at a bronze. Oh, wait. The dead eye bronze is new. The dead eye bronze is new. Um, and he also gets another badge, gold or Hall of Fame. He gets one extra badge. He's two extra badges, Dead Eye and something else. But for Zion, his three point shot goes to 94. He's already got a good release and offensive consist defense consistency goes up eight, which is most of his stats. So yeah, um, not really much of an upgrade. But you know what? Like if you do really want to use both of these, it'll help. I wouldn't go out of my way to use them. So then we have got. I'm not entirely sure I have this duo, but it is Chris Paul and Shea Gilgis Alexander. I may, I have it, yeah. So Shea Gilgis Alexander actually goes into a Galaxy Opal, funnily enough, and Chris Paul doesn't. Chris Paul stays at 98 overall. So CP3 gets three extra Hall of Fame badges. Hall of Fame quick draw, Hall of Fame range. I'm not sure if he already had those badges. Um, Yeah, he already did. So that didn't really make um too much of a difference right there, but he has them. Uh, stats wise, CP3, I don't really think goes in much. His three ball was already high, so it doesn't make much of a difference. The one thing that might make this usable is if it gives Shea Gills an Alexander range. So you got Hall of Fame quick draw, which I think is a new Hall of Fame badge. Yeah, he's got no range. This these guys, this is a worthless duo, to be honest. Um 95-3, 97 mid, 97 draw fell, 98 passing accuracy. Uh, I wish the duos would actually be worth uh worth something, but Fortunately, it doesn't seem like we've gotten any that are worth it yet. So now let's have a look at Tony Kukoc. And his duo is with... We're, lads, 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 lads. We may get an Opal of this card. We have now got Opal Dino Raja. So, lads, Dino's got 36 Hall of Fame badges. So he gets plus three. And he gets no extra badges, which is unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. Um, I wish he got range. I wish he got range, because if he had range, I'd be out here using Tony Kukoc. Not gonna lie, I would be using Tony Kukoc in my squad to give him range. And he also doesn't get an upgrade to 3-ball at all either. His block goes up and stuff, strength goes up. But let's see what it does to Tony Kukoc. So, Tony Kukoc goes to 97 overall. He gets 3 extra Hall of Fame badges. I think he already had Hall of Fame range in quick draw, as far as I know. Um, No, he didn't actually, he only a goal quick draw. So that Hall of Fame quick draw might help a lot with um, Tony Kukoc. He already had quick first step, as far as I know, and he's got 17 gold badges. So, three ball goes up by plus five. His speed with ball stays the same, which is a little bit slow, and he's still kind of slow. So, just for the novelty of getting Dino as a Galaxy Opal, maybe, but I don't think he's really, really going to be worth it. Then we have got Mike Conley and Greg Oden. D. Were they Ohio State? Am I right with that? I know they played in college together and they were like the number one and four picks in the 2011 draft, but I think I'm right with that. I could be completely wrong though. Um, where's Mike Conley? There he is. And Greg Oden. It probably makes Greg Oden, a Greg Oden a Galaxy Opal as well. Yes, it does. So Greg Oden, he had 26 Hall of Fame badges. He only gets one extra one, um, but he, does, he gets an extra goal badge. Please be range. Please be range. No, it's not range. I don't even care what the extra Hall of Fame badge is, to be completely honest. Um, he doesn't get an upgrade to three ball. He gets a plus two in draw fell, a plus two in strength, a plus one in block. He goes up and he goes to 99, 99 rebounding. So that's not terrible. And again, if you guys insist on using Mike Conley with Greg Oden, yeah, um, it makes Conley a little bit better. Plus five three ball for Conley. Um, 
a bit of a better mid range, a bit of a better ball handle, passing vision, which is an irrelevant stat, goes up. And his Hall of Fame badges, in fairness, he gets six extra Hall of Fame badges, which is huge. So he has Hall of Fame quick draw and Hall of Fame range. I'm not sure if he had both of those before. He did, actually. Either way, he gets six extra Hall of Fame badges. So, honestly, this could be, this might be the best duo we've seen so far, but I don't really think that's saying much. Next is Jam Morant and Jaron Jackson Jr. Again, I don't have Jaron Jackson Jr., so I can't really talk about it. Jaron Morant goes up a tiny bit in stats, probably goes to a Galaxy Opal. Jaron Jackson Jr. goes up a little bit in three ball. Um, unlikely to get him range or made him any good. Jaron Jackson Jr. is still very slow, so I don't think that duo is going to do much. And we've got Wiggins and Joel Embiid. So Andrew Wiggins is here, and Joel Embiid, it's the diamond Embiid, not the pink diamond one we see the duo with. So 94 overall centers. So, wow. <laughs> Wiggins still stays with that. Goes up one Hall of Fame badge. Please be Hall of Fame range or quick draw. Nope. Nothing. Nothing that matters. His three point shot does go up uh, plus three, though. Does go up plus three, I guess, which, again, doesn't really matter. Um, Joel Embiid. He's got a little bit better of a mid range. Three stays the same. He's still not fast, or he's still not particularly fast. Let's see. Do they give him... Like, I don't even care about the Hall of Fame badges. Just give him range. Just give him range. Make him usable. Make him usable. No, they didn't give him range. That's unfortunate. If they give him range, I might actually have considered using this dynamic duo. Because Wiggins is pretty good. Then we've got Maurice Lucas and Bill Walton. I'm, I have no idea uh, what it's going to do to either of them. Maurice Lucas barely gets any better. He's still terrible, so there's no point even going over that duo. Then there is John Stockton and Carl Malone. Then there's John Stockton and Carl Malone, and I actually do not have either of these cards. Or I don't have John Stockton, so I can't really go over them. But Stockton actually goes up in 35 total stats, which in, in previous years 2K, that would be terrible. But this year, it's a lot. And Carl Malone actually goes up a little bit in three ball and a little bit in dunk. So Carl Malone does get a little bit better from that one. That's actually the first year we've seen any sort of significant upgrade. Then there is Kevin Love and Russell Westbrook. And there's Kevin Love and Pink Diamond Russell Westbrook. The bad Pink Diamond Westbrook. And the bad Pink Diamond Westbrook doesn't get any better at shooting. So he's still going to be terrible. And Kevin Love still isn't going to get clamps. So he's still going to be terrible. So uh, I get some of the duos are kind of... They're good to have. But man, these duos are bad. So we are over halfway through. So then we've got Ben Simmons and Shaq. And I don't even think I have this Ben Simmons card. Do I? I don't even think there was any point in getting this Ben Simmons. Uh, the 95 overall one. And I don't think... Uh, I'm going to see if it gives him a three ball. So... It actually gives Ben Simmons a plus 7 3 ball to a 72, which is not terrible. And I'm guessing, again, still doesn't have range. And for Shaq, it doesn't change Shaq's 3-pointer at all. It makes Shaq a better rebounder. So, again, another absolutely worthless dynamic duo. 100k card, a bad 100k card with a duo that isn't any good. So then we have got Bobby and uh, Toby. We've got Boba Marjanovic and Tobias Harris. I don't have Tobias Harris, and these cards are all extinct, so I can't go and get myself Tobias Harris. So... What it does to Boban is it improves his mid-range a little bit, and that's kind of it. And for Tobias Harris, that duo um, improves his three-pointer a little bit, and unless, it, but unless it gives him Hall of Fame quick draw, it's going to be worthless. It actually makes Tobias Harris a lot better stats-wise, though. Brands is probably the best individual player upgrade from any of the duos. So then, do I have Kyle Lowry? I may or may not have Kyle Lowry. I do, and he has a dynamic duo with Demar Derozan. Who should be here? Yeah. So the two of these guys have a dynamic duo. So for Kyle Lowry, he has got 15 Hall of Fame badges up from nine, which is kind of big. So he got, and he also he gets Hall of Fame quick draw on range. Okay, this is an actual upgrade, lads. This is an actual upgrade by giving him up to Hall of Fame quick draw on range. That makes him ten times better. Do I think will I be out here using Kyle Lowry? Hell no, but it helps. It definitely helps. For DeRozan, his uh, three-pointer goes up by plus two. And the rest of his stats are in offensive consistency. So the rest of his stats don't matter. However, 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 he gets Hall of Fame quick draw, which is insane with the T-Mac release. Give him, give him quick first step. 2K. Right, you're wrong. Right, you're wrong from the first time around and give him the quick first step badge. Give him the quick first step badge. Right, you're wrong, 2K. You have a chance. You have a chance to right, you're wrong, and you didn't. 
DeRozan still doesn't have a quick first step badge. Come on, 2K. Come on, 2K. Well, like one of the most, one of the players in real life with the quickest first step doesn't have a quick first step badge. Now we have the Duke duo of Jay Williams and Carlos Boozer. Jay Williams goes up in a lot of stats, um, but mostly, again, stats that don't matter, like passing vision and consistency, and I don't have Carlos Boozer to go over these, so that's why I'm talking about these now. Carlos Puzzi still can't shoot the three ball, so this duo is pointless. Again, it's fine having the duo in the game, but there's no point in even going over it when it's an absolutely worthless duo. So then, this is a duo I pretty much I pretty much like. It's a Villanova duo, and it is Diamond. I do have this guy, don't I? Mikael Bridges. And as well as my favorite Ruby point guard in the game, Dante DiVincenzo. So Bridges goes to Pink Diamond, DiVincenzo goes up to a Amethyst. So Bridges goes and gets one extra Hall of Fame badge, and that Hall of Fame badge is not quick draw, nor is it range. Downhill, if downhill is the new one, then I'll be happy with that, but um, stats-wise, he goes up. Problem is that almost all his rating is the fact that he's gone up by from 30 to 80 in shot IQ. That is the reason why he's gone up in overall. Like, his three-point advance has gone a bit better. Driving dunks a little bit improved, but that's it. That's really it. Now, Dante DiVincenzo, one of my favorite cards in the game. So DiVincenzo goes up to 10 Hall of Fame badges. He goes to Hall of Fame range. I think he already had Hall of Fame quick first step, did he? Yes, he did. So I wish he got Hall of Fame quick draw as well. That would be a great thing to give him. But unfortunately, he doesn't. But you know what? Hall of Fame range is uh, better than nothing, I guess. So stats-wise, his three-pointer does go up a lot, though. He goes to a 99 three ball. This is an act like this is a duo I would consider using. Like if I had both of these cards, like I'm pretty sure I will be able some stage to afford Mikael Bridges. If Mikael Bridges could play the two, he would be even better. But this is a duo I would consider using because Demon Chance was a really nice card. He's a really good defender and he can shoot from deep. So if these two cards are cheap and this duo does end up being like 25k MT combined, that this could be a really good duo. Like this is no question about it. This is the best duo we've seen so far. Absolutely no question about it. Now we've got. I don't think I have Diamond Carmelo Anthony, and I'm not going to buy Diamond Carmelo Anthony if I don't have him. I don't, but it's Diamond Carmelo Anthony and Ruby Dame Lillard. So, Diamond Melo goes up 25 total stats, and they're completely meaningless. Dame Lillard Ruby is a Ruby card who goes up in 47 total stats, meaningless, and is also a day one Ruby, so he's, he's going to suck. He's going to suck. Then we've got the Duke Dynamic Duo of two cards that I really like. And I hope that since we've seen badges added, very few of them we have seen badges added, I'm just praying that we see range being added onto this guy right here. We have got Marvin Bagley and Grayson Allen. So Grayson Allen has gone to 29 Hall of Fame badges from the 26 he had. He now has Hall of Fame range and Hall of Fame quick draw. So previously he did not have Hall of Fame quick draw, so that is definitely an upgrade there for... Um, Grayson Allen. That is good because, again, um, not many of these cards ha get proper upgrades. And he has got 54 upgrades, and they're actually meaningful. So his three-point is basically perfect now. His um, interior defense goes up, and his lateral quickness goes up three, which is kind of important as well. And Marvin Bagley is the big one. So he goes to a 94 overall. Stats-wise, honestly, doesn't go up in anything that's important. But Hall of Fame badges, he, goes up, he has five extra Hall of Fame badges. Problem is, is that they are all upgrades from his gold. So, or that were upgrades from gold. If, if, if one of those Hall of Fame badges was quick draw, it would help a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's up and ain't important. Yeah, I don't think any of these badges are ain't important. Not gonna lie. Corner specialist actually. Does he have the Hall of Fame previously? Yes, he did. So he got Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, which helps, I guess, up from gold. And that's really, really it, maybe, of the relevant badges. But Grayson Allen is pretty good. This isn't a bad duo. This is not a bad duo either. We've actually got a few good ones. Like, Mikael Bridges, DiVincenzo, Kyle Lowry, DeRozan, Grayson Allen, Marvin Bagley. They're not bad duos either. So then we've got a really weird one. And it's Kobe Bryant Diamond with LeBron James Amethyst. I really like Diamond Kobe because he has gold quick draw. And please, please 2K, do not give him Hall of Fame quick draw. He is much better with gold quick draw. So he stays at a diamond, but stats-wise, he goes up by only 26 total stats and nothing of relevance stats-wise. 
But he only has six Hall of Fame badges previously. Oh, you are actually joking. He doesn't go. His badges, one of his bronze badges becomes gold. You are kidding me. With no upgrades, no meaningful upgrades. Driving dunk from 95 to 99, that doesn't make a difference. LeBron James, at least LeBron James approves in a lot. But you know what? He's still terrible. He's still absolutely terrible. Like, wow, one Hall of Fame badge. Why? Like, you had it. Like, why not just give him a bunch of Hall of Fame badges? It's not like anyone would use these cards anyway. He gets no quick draw either. Like, or he does a quick draw. I'm not even sure. I don't even care. I don't even care. Like, this, these cards, this duo is terrible. This duo is absolutely terrible. So, next up, we've got Jerry West and Will Chamberlain. Jerry West is his diamond card. Probably goes up to maybe a 94 overall because he goes up in a little bit in three point shooting, but it's nothing major. And again, because I don't have Jerry West, there's no point going over this. Will Chamberlain doesn't become a better shooter whatsoever. So, again, a non shooting big that can't really speed boost and has 25 speed with ball. And I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Will Chamberlain has got 25 speed with ball. So, um, yeah, that's not going to be great. And last up, I don't think I have these cards. And it's Kerry Kittles and Keith Van Horn. I would say, yeah, Kerry Kittles and Keith Van Horn. Keith Van Horn goes up plus six in his three-point shot. And I'm telling you, Keith Van, Horn, Keith Van Horn with his duo might be all right. And then Kerry Kittles, very, very unlikely he gets range. He gets goes with 97 three ball. And if he gets range, this could be a great budget duo. But unfortunately, it's very unlikely he gets range. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Sorry that I didn't have some of those cards. Um, but I do have most of them. And I think of the ones I missed, the only one that could even be in any way slightly relevant is the John Stockton Carmelo, and the rest of them are fine. The rest of them are honestly are not worth your time. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.